As many of you know who watch this channel know I am a huge fan of the Raspberry Pi. I've owned every model since they've launched. However, recently there's been a lot of frustration surrounding the Raspberry Pi, its stocks levels, and actually the foundation itself. In 2020, I was very critical of two things. One, the Raspberry Pi 400, and two, the direction of what I felt the Raspberry Pi Foundation was headed. And that was away from us makers and from educational units and towards industry and commercial units. Now, I think that's pretty much been proven to be the case. Now, my problem with the 400, you can watch the video where I took a tremendous amount of heat, was that they put out a new product. It was a subpar product put out as a new product in order to grab a bunch of money, in my opinion. Now, that's very unpopular, especially with the fanboys, but meh, that's my call. I was also very critical in those videos about the direction I felt the foundation was heading. And that direction it's heading clearly has been to prioritize commercial and industry needs over us makers and educational needs. Having that said, you don't need to listen to me. You can look at their press release. The press release addresses that they had supply and demand issues. We know the mix up and with Sony and everything else and chip makers, I can get behind that. In that press release, they talk about how we'll have some supply in Q2 of 2023 and unlimited supply for us makers in 2023. Now, I don't know about you, I've seen the direction they were headed since 2020. It's only proven my point. I don't think that they are about us makers. I don't think they are recognizing who made them and who allowed them to get into these spaces. I'm very concerned with the direction of the foundation. However, because of that, I've started to look for some other alternatives like Orange Pie, and most recently, something that I found that was pretty cool. And now for prices of Raspberry Pi being two, four, five X, trying to buy a Raspberry Pi Zero for $150 on eBay just isn't feasible. So instead on eBay, what I found was an alternative. Now, depending on what you want to do with a Raspberry Pi, this might be something that's really good. This is a HP Elite Desk, really small, but it's got a Ryzen chip in it. It's really, really good. It's really good for things like emulation. And if you'd like to do anything like setting up a NAS, this might be a great alternative. And right now it really is cheaper. And if you're looking at it for emulation, it dominates. You can do anything you want from Game Boy to GameCube to PS2 to PS3 to Xbox to Xbox 360. This is definitely a more powerful machine, but for 150 bucks. Did I also mention it has an M2 one terabyte drive in it? All for $150. Now, I'm not encouraging you to go away from the Raspberry Pi. I think it's a great instrument to learn, especially if you're looking to learn embedded electronics, physical computing, or Linux. There is no better system. But with this little system, it's more powerful, and I can dual boot Linux, as well as Windows, because it comes with Windows, another value add. So for right now, I don't think I can really recommend you going out and getting a Raspberry Pi. I think we need to be critical of the foundation, and other people other than myself need to stand up. These fanboys need to just stop blindly falling them off the cliff like lemons. What they need to do is stand up and demand that they go back to their roots, to their ethos, providing cheap, cheap single board computers with a focus on education, because clearly they should at least change their mission statement to say with a focus on industry and commercial use. I'm Hill Phantom, that's my hot take. If you agree, great, if you don't, Great, feel free to flame me like you always do, fanboys, but I'm telling you, they ain't for you. Until next time, I'm Hill Phantom.